Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing the various reasons for obeying God. There are really only two main reasons left to consider, and they're the ones people don't like to think about. The superiority of God over man, and the reality of the afterlife. I'll be tackling these one at a time, and they'll probably take the longest to explain. To begin with, God is superior to man. In episode 12, we talked about how all of God's properties are eternal and infinite. Our properties are finite and limited. Therefore, God's properties are superior to the properties of man. Is God's power superior to man's power? Is God's knowledge and wisdom superior to man's? Is God's goodness superior to man's goodness? The answer to all of these questions is yes, because all of these things, as we proved in those early episodes, are infinite properties of God. In us, they're definitely not infinite. However, we've proven even more than this, that God is morally superior to man, even in terms of rights and ethical treatment deserved by his nature. In episode 19, we established that God is the very standard of all ethics, and in episodes 21 and 22, we discussed the difference between ethics practice towards God and ethics practice towards man. Clearly, therefore, there is some important difference between God and man in terms of our ethical obligations towards them. This would seem to imply that God has different and superior rights to man. Why is this? The answer is that in the same way that man's goodness ultimately comes from God, who's the source of that goodness, so man's rights come from God, who's the source of all rights. Man's rights, in fact, only exist because of his unique relationship to God. Without this, human beings wouldn't have any rights, just as we wouldn't have any goodness if God weren't there to provide us with it. In essence, we're just borrowing rights from the source of all rights. God actually is that source. So, in the same way that a small stream is inferior to the ocean that feeds into it, so we are inferior to God, who gives us our rights and goodness. On top of this, we can't grow to become superior to God, because any growth we undergo is only growth in the sense that it makes us better. If it doesn't make us better, it's not growth. But even if it does make us better, it doesn't make us perfect, and God is already perfect. Nothing can be better than perfect. That's a line that's used in comic books to sound cool, but it's really just nonsense. The most that we can hope for is to continue improving, to become better people, wiser and more virtuous, more like God. However, God is superior to us, and this is a darn good reason to obey him. The only hard thing about this, as far as I can tell, is that you need once and for all to swallow your pride and never dare to cough it up again. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.